Very good evening. You're watching the headlines with me. I'm Dipavli Hazra. The results for the Delhi Assembly elections are eagerly awaited. The Election Commission will announce uh, the results tomorrow. Meanwhile, uh, exit polls have been predicting that it will be once again an Aam Aadmi Party sweep as far as the national capital is concerned. BJP might just be a distant second, but of course, everything will be clear tomorrow morning. The Director General of Civil Aviation has suspended an Indigo pilot for allegedly abusing a woman and her elderly mother over providing wheelchair assistance on a Chennai Bengaluru flight last month. The pilot's license has been suspended for three months. There was an uproar in Parliament today over the Supreme Court's decision that says that uh, providing reservation for promotion in government jobs is not a fundamental right. The opposition has sought the government to go and file a review plea over this matter or amend the constitution. Meanwhile, the government says that it was not party to this case in the Supreme Court. However, even the BJP's allies like the LJP and Apna Dal have insisted that the government do something to review this matter. The Congress has said that it will file a privileged motion against Social Justice Minister Thawarchand Gehlot because he allegedly misled the Parliament. Thawarchand Gehlot had claimed that the Supreme Court's decision on uh, rejecting reservations in job promotions is linked to a 2012 decision by the Uttarakhand government that was then ruled by the Congress. The Congress says that this has dismissed these allegations and it is it said that it will move a privileged motion against Gehlot over these statements. The Supreme Court has shot a notice to the centre and Delhi government over the death of a four-month-old baby during the Shaheen Bagh protests. Uh, the mother of the child brought that infant to protests day after day when, uh, and because of that, the child caught a chill and succumbed to the cold. So the Supreme Court has now pulled up the lawyers who are representing the mothers of children and these mothers are sitting in at protests at the Shaheen Bagh site. The Supreme Court has sought to know how a four-month-old child can be brought to protests. And security was stepped up in the national capital today. There were two sets of protesters uh, demonstrating against the contentious citizenship amendment law and the NPR as well as the NRC. One set of protesters were marching from Mandi House to Jantar Mantar while another from Jamia Nagar. They attempted to march towards the parliament where the budget session is currently underway. Their passage was blocked by the police. They had barricaded their passage and the protesters attempted to jump over the barricades when they were pushed back by force. They were even lati charged. There were some injuries and some protesters were also detained. And the Delhi police has registered a molestation case uh, in the Gargi College campus fiasco issue when on February 6th, the students alleged that a group of men had entered the campus, gate crashed a college fest event, molested students and verbally abused them. The police were on campus today to check CCTV footage and uh, the process to identify all the accused is still underway. Meanwhile, the college principal Promila Kumar has broken her silence. She's come out and said that the university, that the college will set up a protocols to assess such matters in the future so that such matters do not take place in the future. Her words come after the students alleged that the college authorities had in fact told them not to attend fests if they were worried about their security. And several crew members, Indian crew members aboard the Diamond Princess, which is a luxury cruise ship which has currently been quarantined off the Japan coast, have sent out a video appeal. It's an SOS to the Indian government, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, to rescue them and evacuate them from that ship where the coronavirus disease uh, is actually spreading. There are fears aboard the cruise ship that the infection may spread fast. Uh, however, so far, 66 confirmed cases on board have been detected and people have been asked to stay indoors in their cabins to avoid spread of the infection. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.